Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Adventures of Kramer. So now that I have the router all set up, it's time to split it through some tests. I'm going to do some speed tests on my phone, do some speed tests on my computer, see how it does, see what's going on, try and see how I can connect up to the Starlink app and see what kind of happens from there. So let's go ahead and join me. Starting up the app right now and just getting this kind of started on setting up as a cool LED was red at first, but now it's doing this kind of cool blue and greenish colors. Blue. Okay, so I know it was some preliminary testing but I just ran my fastest ever of unload latency at 19 milliseconds. I have never hit that fast switching over to this new router. Time to hop on the computer, do some tests from there. Okay, so just ran a speed test using fast.com. Um, I was able to pull 32 millisecond, unloaded 141, Loaded 110 megabits per second down with a 16 megabits per second up. So that was nice to see. I want to try and adjust some things real quick here and try and run this again, but to where I can see the loaded and unloaded for the upload as well. So here we go. Let's try and see what we got going on here. Fast.com seems to be limiting more of the download on the speeds recently. Um, speed test, I definitely I pull higher speeds. So, not bad for the unloaded. Loaded is still doing better than what I have had in the past. And then, upload speeds are a little lower right now. Running about a 9. There's nothing else going on in the background. So it's just this right now, connected up. 81 down with a 9 up, that's still really good, and the latency seems to have improved by like, I don't know, it used to be upwards in like the 300 milliseconds on the included Starlink on the loaded, and the unloaded was definitely higher on here as well. So definitely an improvement. I'm excited to see where it kind of goes from here. Okay, so there's a couple different things I got to try and figure out here. First off, I went ahead, I disconnected everything, I connected up the new router, got it all set up. It was nice. I did have some low um, latency. The new router, which I knew it wouldn't, but it was worth a shot. Um, the router's not causing any of the issues for drop connections. That's purely just that Starlink. And so the old router, the new router, whatever it is, still drops it doesn't go long enough in between of having like like without having drop connections they're very short they're like 10 seconds sometimes sometimes like 30 it's not very much it just happens frequently throughout the day i feel it's more frequent now than what it used to be i'm not sure why that's changed up a little bit the biggest trouble though is i can't access the app at all so by switching that up and taking out the included Starlink router, now I can't stow it, I can't debug it, I can't um, like reset the router, I can't look at statistics, I can't do any of the things for what little access we do have to be able to get into the router. And so that's kind of frustrating because I do like looking at the statistics to see if I'm in the middle of class, or if I'm in the middle of the game, I like to pull it up real quick and see, okay, did I lose it because of an obstruction? Did I lose it because there was no satellite? Did I lose it because it's just down for that brief little moment when it's switching in between stuff? What exactly happened? What I've ended up having to do though, I know it's not ideal, but I have had to actually connect up the Starlink back again, and I've had to take out the back ethernet port and connect back into the new router. Um, any of my wireless stuff I've had connected to the new router, which is nice to be able to have that extra security and some of the stuff on there and just a better internet. Um, I know it's not ideal to set and have it to where internet comes in, goes into there and goes back out. But what I notice now 
is if I'm on any of the networks down line of, from the Starlink, so this other ethernet connects up to my new router, um, I can access the app just fine. But there's no way for me to modify or change and like shut off the wireless on Starlink in the setup wizard. That's just not an option right now. I would like for it to be an option in the future to where that could actually be turned off so that way I don't have conflicting networks because right now they're only like six, seven feet apart and that's in no way ideal. It's working um, and it's going fairly well okay. I do I have noticed though, just in general, speeds have slowed down on the downloads. I will get times of it going higher but I can definitely tell the network is being used a lot more. So that's what I'm getting so far off of this little bit of a test and kind of switch up.